Okay, so this video is on cross-validation for evaluating algorithms. And I should tell you that the word cross-validation has multiple meanings. So sometimes people say we evaluated the algorithm by tenfold cross-validation. And sometimes they say the parameters of the algorithm were tuned by tenfold cross-validation. And um, these have very different meanings, um, but the, the procedure uh, overlaps quite a lot. And the basic uh, aspect of the procedure is the evaluation part. So that's what I'll talk about in this video. So uh, cross-validation, I should tell you, it's the most popular way to evaluate a machine learning algorithm on a data set. And to do it, you need a data set, an algorithm, and an evaluation measure. And uh, if you're doing regression, the evaluation measure would typically be the squared error between the predictions and the truth. And if you're doing classification, it would typically be misclassification error. Now, the way the procedure works is that you divide your data into um, approximately equally sized folds, and there are 10 of them. And then you train the algorithm on the first nine and you test on the last fold. And you repeat this 10 times using each fold in turn as the test fold. And then in the end, you report the mean and standard deviation of the evaluation measure over the 10 folds. So let's go over how uh, this works. So here's my, my training set and I divide it into 10 folds. And then I reserve one fold as the test fold, trained it on, the, um, on nine of the folds and then evaluated on the 10th fold, the test fold. And then I rotated which fold is the test fold. And then in the end, I reported the mean and standard deviation of the, um, the evaluation measure across the folds. And the nice thing about cross-validation is it doesn't just give you one number, right? It, it actually gives you some notion of uncertainty. It gives you um, that standard deviation across folds, which is very valuable in understanding um, kind of the quality of that, um, the, the, the quality of that value, uh, the evaluation val measures value. Okay, and then we usually say uh, the algorithm that performed the best was the one with the best average out of sample performance across the tenfold. So this is if you're doing a comparison over different algorithms. And then if, if you are doing such a comparison, um, I very often try to do um, statistical significance tests to determine whether a particular algorithm was better than the other ones. So to do that, you have to keep all of the 10 numbers that you compute across the 10 folds, like the, the 10 um, evaluation measure values in the test set, you keep those 10 numbers, and then you would do a two sample, uh, a match pairs two sample t-test uh, over the different algorithms. And you have to make sure you, you, when you do this test, you have to make sure, of course, that you use the same 10 folds for each of the different algorithms. Okay, so when you do your hypothesis tests, um, what I often do is um, for the algorithm that performed the best, I put it in bold, put the, the value in bold. Okay, so algorithm one performed the best and it was significantly, statistically significantly better than algorithms two and three according to this two sample match pairs t-test. So algorithm one versus algorithm two, and then algorithm one versus algorithm three, do the t-test on both of those. And then um, sometimes you end up in the situation where algorithm one performed, say it performed better than another algorithm, but it wasn't statistically significantly better. And so in that case, uh, I would put the, uh, the value in italics just to show that, you know, yeah, algorithm one performed better, but it wasn't statistically significantly better than algorithm four. Okay, so in the next video, we're gonna talk about cross-validation for tuning parameters. And in the video after that, we'll talk about nested cross-validation, which includes both procedures, kind of tuning parameters and evaluation. Thanks.